Hey guys, welcome to BTECT. It's Basil here with the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1. Just announced here at CES 2014, the Tab Pro 10.1 packs a 2560 by 1600 screen, so loads of resolution, but pulling up close, it's also Super AMOLED, so you should see it absolutely pops. Now, taking a look around the design, and you can see two capacity buttons either side of physical home button on the base, but the right hand sides of SD card, micro SD card, and a SIM tray, micro SIM, and a loudspeaker. At the base, you have micro SD port, while on the left is the other side of the loudspeaker, and you also have a 3.5mm headphone jack. Up top is an infrared blaster, power button and volume rocker, while on the reverse is an 8 megapixel rear facing camera and flash. You've also got that fake stitching pattern, it's a plastic with a faux leather look. We're not in love with how it looks, but it does feel better than the glossy tablets of old. It's just 7.3 millimeters thin, so for a 10 inch tablet it feels very very thin. Now, looking at the display, any eagle eyes out there should see this is not TouchWiz. This is a new user interface called Magazine UX from Samsung. It's going to deliver really big content pieces that you can get stuck into. If we long press, we can rearrange the layout with ease. You can resize the widgets, add new ones, etc. We reckon the fact you've got two types of home screens is going to be a little bit confusing, but Samsung assures us this was all done for novice Android users so they don't have to wade through the complexities of Android. One thing it does do is get content in people's faces very quickly. If you swipe down from the top, you've still got a pull down notifications bar giving you access to all your settings separated by device controls, etc. Now, if we take a look at the camera itself, the 8 megapixel camera is, we can open the apps tray, open the apps, and it's loaded up with Samsung standard UI, which as you can see, oh, hello, <laughs> that's me, is found on the Samsung Galaxy S4, etc. and Note 3. Um, so you've got HDR, nothing too crazy. Open up the applications tray again, you can also see the other applications installed. We don't know how many are going to end up on the retail version, but it looks like it's relatively standard Android stuff. Nothing new on here. As far as hardware in this thing goes, you've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor in here with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Whereas if you opt for just a Wi-Fi version, you're going to get the Exynos 5 processor made by Samsung. With 16 or 32 gigabytes memory and that micro SD card for expandability up to 64 gigabytes, you'll get plenty on there and think that wraps everything up. So if you do have any questions about the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 10.1, fire them in the comments section below if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you are, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to BTEC. Make sure you head over to BTEC.com for the latest in smartphone news, reviews, features and some awesome deals. Enjoy the video? Click the subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the screen and on the right side of the screen is where you will find three hand-picked videos for your viewing pleasure.